Good morning, learners. Happy Friday. Today is Friday, April 3rd, 2020. And today I thought I would start out with our This Day in History fact. Because this is a very, very important day in history for multiple reasons. But one that should be of interest to you. So on this day in the year 2009, okay, 2009, so think back to that. You might not have even been born yet. Maybe you were, you know, a few months old, whatever. 2009, the Jackson Petrillo was born on April 3rd, 2009. So happy birthday, Jackson. I wish we could have celebrated in school, but I hope you have a fantastic day. There's actually another This Day in History fact that relates to my family. So on this day in history, in 1935, so the year 1935, my grandma was born. So my grandma was born in 1935, April 3rd, 1935. Jackson was born April 3rd, 2009. Can you figure out the age difference between my grandma and Jackson? That's your math problem for the day. Figure out the age difference. So my grandma was born in 1935. Jackson was born in 2009. Can you figure out the age difference? And can you figure out how old they are? So that's our awesome this day in history. Happy birthday, Jackson. Happy birthday to my grandma. Moving on. Um, our question of the day. I always set it in a different spot. And then I can't find it. Okay. Our question of the day is, if you could meet anyone in the world, who would it be? That's really tough. Um, if you could meet anyone in the world, who would it be? Talk about it. Write about it. Um, I don't even know if I know the answer to that. If you could meet anyone. But they have to be living. Let's put some constraints on, some constraints on it. They have to be living. So if you could meet anyone in the world, who would it be? I can't answer that. But maybe you can. So talk about it. Write about it. Next. Our mindful moment for the day um, has to do with our listening. So in our classroom, we do this cool thing where um, I ring the bell and you close your eyes and you have your thumb up. And when you no longer hear the bell, you put your thumb down, which tunes us into the moment and it has us focus and concentrate. So this, you'll need to do it with a partner or with a group of people. So um, one person closes their eyes and another person has to make a sound with something. It could be tapping a marker on a table. It could be hitting a coffee cup, but they can't say what it is that they're doing to make the sound. And the person with their eyes closed has to focus on the sound and concentrate in the moment and then try to guess what it is that's making the sound. So you're closing your eyes, you're listening, the person who's making the sound is making the sound, you're closing your eyes, you're listening, you do it for about 30 seconds and then you open your eyes and you try to guess what it was. And then when you find out what it was, whether you were right or, or wrong, talk about some of the clues and some of the things you noticed when you were listening and then switch roles, okay? You could really do it as many times as you want. Um, and it just helps us experience the moment and um, it also works on our detective skills to try to figure things out. So I think it's pretty cool. Next. Um, so make sure that at home, so... I, I've been seeing so many people working so diligently on the academic things that I'm pushing out, but also make sure that you're making time for music and art and uh, PE type things. So like you're playing outside and you're doing exercise and um, you're drawing or painting or um, making bracelets. I know XR in our class likes to make bracelets. Make bracelets. Um, you're practicing your instrument or you're listening to music. Make sure that you still have things like that in your life because that's really important to also be focusing on at home, okay? Um, and we'll finish with our story cues. All right. We have an arrow pointing in whatever direction I hold it in. <laughs> so... It could be pointing uh, whichever way. And a pyramid. So uh, do a one-sentence story tell where each person comes up with the next um, line in the story um, about something with an arrow or a direction um, or a pyramid. Pyramids, uh, they were built by the ancient Egyptians in Egypt or there were also pyramids um, built by the Mayans in Mexico. Um, so you could have some sort of story about that. You could research, um, the pyramids. 
and write about it. So either do a one sentence story tell verbally or write about one of these things. And have an absolute fantastic day. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you back on Monday. Until next time, it's Miss G. See you soon.